Hi Eric, uh, you are an ecology researcher and you have published a number of articles in uh, open access journals. What are the benefits of open access publishing, do you think? Well, there are a number of, of benefits of publishing in open access journals, uh, depending on uh, which perspective you take. Uh, there is the perspective of the, the researcher, like myself, by publishing in an open access journal you get uh, increased visibility of your research and studies have also shown that papers published in open access format get more citations mm -hmm. which is to the benefit of the researchers. Mm -hmm. Then it's also the benefit to the taxpayers okay. who can see uh, where the money for publicly funded research goes to. They can access the articles in open access easily and then we have a broader perspective in terms of of develop countries in, in the developing world, uh, poor university institutions like in Latin America and Africa, for instance, who can access open access published science more easily and at no cost compared to the traditional way articles are published. So all that uh, those countries need are uh, uh an, a broadband connection, so to say. Yes, any university uh, country in the third world or any private person in the third world or in, in Sweden or in Europe can access open access journals easily from a computer with internet connection. So that's the main advantage of open access publishing. You reach a very broad audience of both scientists and non-scientists. The open access movement uh, has had effects on the scholarly journal publishing system, as we have seen uh, the recent years. Uh, do you think this trend with openness, is this a trend only for the journal system or a more general, general trend? Uh, the open, uh, openness trend or the open access trend is actually much broader than limited to science. For instance, we see it in, in other areas as well, for instance, like open uh, source code in computer programming, so like Linux, for instance, uh, public uh, like software with, which is freely available and can be used uh, without any paying any license uh, to use it. We also see it in other areas, uh, like in the generic medicines, copies mm -hmm. of, of medicines, which are becoming increasingly accessible not only the, the uh, protected by patents, but becoming available. And we also see it in the cultural domain, uh, mo most notably with the music and how music is shared between many different users. So it's an example of a horizontal transfer of knowledge and information as opposed to the traditional old and closed system. Mm -hmm. And another very good example, I think, is also the open encyclopedias which have started online like uh, Wikipedia for instance that's mm. also an example of this trend towards increased horizontal information transfer and I think open access belongs within this family of uh, open source publications and open information one often hears that uh, open access journals uh, do not have peer review uh, is that true the um, impression that many have and uh, the view that some have and, and try to promote that open access journals do not have uh, peer review is uh, totally wrong and uh, it's a misunderstanding because open access uh, publishing is in fact uh, puts the same high scientific requirements on, on publishing articles as traditional journals. Mm -hmm. uh, the main difference is that the author retained the copyright uh, as uh, compared, compared to the traditional system where the journal gets the copyright. But otherwise, articles, scientific articles and manuscripts submitted to open access journals are peer reviewed by uh, scholarly uh, experts and they are subject to the same uh, quality criteria that to decide whether they should be published or rejected. But I believe this is one of the serious misunderstandings mm -hmm. with open access concepts, which unfortunately has been uh, propagated by some uh, groups who are hostile towards the open access concept and some of the traditional commercial journals. And it mm -hmm. should also be said that open access journals could be both uh, um, commercial and non-commercial. 
uh, non-commercial examples of open access journals are, for instance, Public Library of Science or PLOS, and commercial uh, open access journals are like BMC, Biomedical Central. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.